Welcome back guys. So today we'll be continuing data structures and algorithm. So today we'll be learning about linked list and we'll see the operation on linked list that is the delete deletion of a node from the end. So I have made the cases for it to understand the various cases and how it works. So first of all the first case is like when there is no node present in the list then the deletion is not possible because there is nothing to delete and the other case is like when there is only one node present in the list so what we need to do is like here we see that after deleting so I will just write like this after deleting the start will the list will look something like this so how to do this so like we need to upgrade the start to null and we'll just free the current or something yes we'll free the current and this will get removed and this will become null so the list is the deletion has been done now the third case when there are more than one node present and there are multiple node present and we need to delete the last one so after deletion this will how the list will look so we first for doing for going, going to the last we need to traverse like one uh, like the we need to traverse here and we need previous also and we need current also because we need to free, free the current and we need to also upgrade this previous value so that is important so to do that let me show you what are the things that we need to like change we first of all like uh, we will use like previous and current two variables to move current will use to tell to get to the last and previous will get here so once we have reached here suppose this is we are reached here and previous is here so what we need to do like we need to upgrade the previous so how to do the previous so previous we need to upgrade the next part of previous no matter what it is because we are deleting it the, at the end so we need to always select the it to null that is what we have done here and current for current we simply need like free current and that is it is all so this will like go till the end and just free, free the current and delete it so let me show you the code for it so now here again nd star delete end any function I'm writing like this so start now we need like two variables here the current and previous both of us both of that must be uh, like set to start like current equals to prev equals to start this is a short form and for the first case what we I will write is like if start equals to equals to null then we can say that deletion is not possible deletion not possible and for the other case like else now there will be more cases here like as if uh, if this is at the start arrow next that is when there is only one element that is null we need to set it to null I hope you get it at start arrow next what does it mean it means that 150 start arrow next if it is null that is only one element is present then we need to set the start to null which I have already told so that is the case for it and other case for if other else now under this else I will write this for this case I will make something so first of all you need to traverse till the end so while like current arrow next that is not equals to null we need to go till here so we have to reach here so when at last we will see that when we have reached current like 600 and we will see whether the next part of it is null then we will break out of it so that explains this so now we already know how to move forward using current and previous two variables so this is how you move because every time current moves a step previous takes its value so this is how you move and after we have reached the last node so what we need to do is that we need to set the next part of previous to null that is here and this will be done so I'll just end this while loop 
and for this part and this part all separately like I can easily write like free current so I don't need to write separate times so I'll just close this else loop and it is done I'll just return the start and it is done so this is how you do it delete at the end from the end so thanks for watching it you can I'll just show you the program of it to understand the working of it so this is a program which I have written so the standard library package is structure of the node the type definition and the function delete at the end so now we'll just see the here so again the same part like delete and start and once it is done, we'll break it out. And I'll just go to the function. So where it is here? Here it is. So just have it in the copy and just do the same. We need two variables for that. We need to set both at the start. So the first case, like when there's no list elements present, so this is not possible. And for the other case, like when there's only one element present, we need to change that for and when the more than one and we need to do it at the end so this is the case and this is how it works so let me show you whether it works or not so for that we need to insert like elements first of all then we can only delete so i'm inserting like three elements so let me show you 30 20 and 10 so let me just delete at the end so i just pressed it and now i see yeah element 10 has been vanished here again i'll just disappear delete one more yes let me show you yes again it is vanished again i will delete no elements present in the list now if i press it not possible since the list is empty no deletion is possible so this was all about it thanks for watching me if you have any problems comment below